screaming mummy. Discovered in 1886, a mummy with an agonized expression on his face has long since been the object of speculation. This mummy has all his organs intact, which is not customary with mummification. Many interesting theories have arisen, though none have been proven right or wrong. One was the murderer, while the other ensured full preservation of the body. Other researchers and archaeologists have come up with theories ranging from cold-blooded murder to poisoning to being buried alive. A 2008 National Geographic documentary special investigated the possibility that the mummy could be Prince Pentier, who was suspected of planning his father's murder. Panxian Caves The Panxi and the Dog Caves are known to have housed humans 300,000 years ago. It is also known that large animals inhabited the vicinity of the caves as well. Scientists, however, were extremely surprised to find prehistoric deposits indicating massive stegodons, and rhinoceros also lived, or at least died, inside the caves. They found this very strange seeing as how the caves are 1,600 meters above sea level. Paleoanthropologist Lynn Sippart stated how rare it is to find animals in a cave that don't typically live in them. She believed that stegodons and rhinos were very unlikely to simply wander into the cave. Salzburg Cube in 1885, Ray, an employee at an Austrian foundry, discovered the mysterious Salzburg cube. He cracked open the seam of coal to find a strange-looking iron cube inside it. It had many cracks, and little holes in it, as well as a strange color, and a deep fissure down the middle. Ray had never seen anything like it before, so after showing it to his boss, they turned it over to the Heim Toss Museum. The next year, a professor at the museum named Adolf Gerlt studied the cube, and determined it to be part of a meteorite. But further studies by the Natural History Museum in Vienna proved that, it was not in fact a meteorite, but artificially manufactured from an 